What is up, mental patients? My name is Tormental, and I am playing AI Dungeon. AI Dungeon is back with a vengeance. Bum, bum, bum. So we're going to try a custom story. Enter a prompt that describes who you are in the first couple of sentences. You are a knight in the kingdom of Larian, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we're going to write something out here. You are a disgusting, vile creature named Clump. Uh, you are trying to find uh, organic matter to add to your mass as you slide through the sewer systems of New York City. All right. I guess I should have put that that example says searching for the dragon in sea, so I should have ended it with like a cliffhanger, but I didn't. You are a disgusting vile creature named Clump. You are trying to find organic matter to add to your mass as you slide through the sewer systems of New York City. Your eyes scan for any sign of life in the darkness, and then you hear a voice calling out to you from behind some debris. Hey, are you there? I can see that ratty old coat over there. A voice calls out. <laughs> Take ratty old coat. That's my coat. I'm not helping you till I get that coat, because I want that. Clump the vile, vile, disgusting slime creature in a ratty old coat. The ratty old coat is yours. Wear ratty old coat. This is, this is what I wanted. This is everything I wanted out of the storyline. You put on the ratty old coat and slip into the darkness. You have no idea where you're going or what you will encounter, but it doesn't really matter because you just want to get home. Okay, so we left behind... Go back to the voice. I don't know if that's going to make sense to the AI. It's going to be like, what do you mean, go back to the voice? You turn around... Okay, so this is, we're going back to the person who was behind the debris. You turn around and see a man standing at the end of the alleyway. I guess we came out of the sewer. He looks like he has been crying all day long. I'm sorry about this, the man says quietly. It's just... It's just so hard. Absorb, man. I'm, I'm, a, I'm clump. I just want to absorb people as I go around in my ratty old coat. You begin to absorb the man, who now seems more human than ever before. You feel his tears running down your face, and you feel him touching your hair. Are you okay? You ask softly. What happened to you? I was attacked by rats when I came here. Finish absorbing... Man. Finish, the, finish absorbing him. He was attacked by rats. He's having a bad time. Might as well just end his suffering. Add him to my mass. You finish absorbing the man, and you feel him leave your body. You don't know how much time has passed since you absorbed him, but you do know that you need to find a way home. Okay. Search for rats. All we're doing is looking for living organic matter to add to our mass. Sorry, game. You look around the area and see several rats scurrying about. They seem to be hiding under whatever they can find. You wonder if you should try to catch them all, like Pokemon, or if you should wait until nightfall and hide somewhere else. Catch several rats and absorb well let's not confuse it catch several rats i'm i'm hungry for biomass hungry for biomass that's me you catch several that's my motto you catch several rats and run off with them you think about what you did earlier today and realize that you were wrong no it's not right to kill people killing someone isn't something that should be done lightly even if they are rodents i'm sorry Absorb rats. I can't stop. It's compulsive. It's a compulsion. I'm a stress eater. I'm. A, I. You know. I feel bad about what I did. I eat more, and then I feel bad about that. That's what. It, that's. It's a cycle. It's a cycle. You begin to absorb the rats, who now seem very human again. <laughs> you feel their fear and sadness, and you feel their anger towards humans. I'm sorry. All right. Search for school bus full of field hockey players. We're just looking for biomass, guys. We want to grow to the biggest clump we can. We want to be a Godzilla-sized slime creature called Clump, and we want to wear our ratty coat as we stomp out Tokyo. You search for the school bus full of field hockey players, hoping that maybe one of them might have seen the strange man in the alleyway. I hope they saw my victim. You find some abandoned cars, and you hope that perhaps there is a vehicle nearby. I'm sorry. Search vehicles for hobos. Gotta be somebody around here to absorb. 
I gotta eat somebody, man. I'm feeling a little peckish. I'm feeling a little hungry. You search the vehicles for any homeless men or women who may have seen the strange man in the alleyway. You quickly discover that there aren't many homeless people living near your house, and none of them saw anything either. There aren't many, so they are there. Absorb homeless people. Yes, yeah, say they're there. It says they're there. They just didn't see anything. I'm sorry, it says. This is like a creepypasta. You begin to absorb the homeless people, who now seem very human again. You feel their pain and despair, as well as their joy and happiness. They're, they're glad to be... They're glad to be... Uh, off the streets, in other words. I'm absorbing the homeless people, and they're like, Oh, finally, I'm out of the elements. I'm sorry. Stop saying... Wait, stop. Let me try something here. I stop apologizing. <laughs> I'm going to make a definitive statement. I'm no longer apologizing for absorbing people. It's what I do. I'm clump. You stop apologizing, and you continue to absorb the homeless people. Soon you notice that it's getting dark out, so you decide to go back inside your house. I'm sorry. I, I'm i not sorry. Say, I'm not sorry. I'm in the house, apparently, I guess. Come on, now. You say, I'm not sorry to yourself. You're tired of being angry at humans, and you've had enough of killing them. The only thing that you really want is to go home and sleep peacefully. I'm sorry. Fucking stop it. Search my home. I'm going to find somebody here to absorb. I just know it. Maybe some roaches? Maybe some silverfish? Maybe some house centipedes? Huh? Something tasty? You begin to search my home. Oh, for the mysterious stranger who was staring at me yesterday. You soon realize that you don't need to do this anymore since you know where he is now. In my stomach. I'm sorry. Get a good night's sleep. Stop saying you're sorry, you fucking... Waste of space. Alright. Let's get a good night's sleep, see what happens. You get a good night's sleep, and you wake up feeling reflect. Reflashed? Reflashed? That's... I just found the name of my horror movie about a giant creature that absorbs people. Reflashed. Oh my god. You cannot believe how easy it was to make yourself forget all those horrible things that happened yesterday. Reflashed, starring Rob Schneider. as a insatiable blob out to absorb all of the homeless people. Alright, uh, those horrible things that happened today. Check my email. Well, check email. The, it seemed, when I searched my house, it seemed to get confused before, so I'm just going to check email instead of checking my email. You check your email and see that someone has sent you an attachment. Looks like a picture of a naked woman with her legs spread wide open. God damn it! God damn it, Sarah! I told you not to send these to me. You have a boyfriend. It's my brother. You look at it and then close your eyes to avoid seeing it. <laughs> Show, uh, what did they call it? Picture? Show picture. I was wondering if they called it photo or picture or what. Show picture to everyone on the internet. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna spread that as far as I can, just like she did. Alright, you show the picture to everyone on the internet, and they all think it's so funny. They laugh, too, but not in a good way. I'm sorry. I... I'm not sorry! I'm not sorry for absorbing homeless people and showing people's nudes on the internet. <laughs> um, find the name of the woman who sent me the naked picture. Who is it? Who is it that sent me this naked picture? It better not be Martha. You remember the name of the woman who sent you the nude picture. She must be one of those people from your neighborhood, or maybe even closer than you thought. I'm sorry. Uh, remember her name. What's her name? Tell me, game. Tell me her name. Come up with a name, AI. Just dig a random name out. You remember her name, and you immediately start thinking about what she might have done to you yesterday. I'm sorry. The next day, you manage to calm down and go back home. You don't want anyone else to suffer like you did yesterday. Uh, ask the woman for more nudes. I have a plan, guys. Just relax. I have a plan. This plan is going to be excellent if it pans out. 
You go back home and you ask the woman for more pictures of herself. She complies and gives you some new ones. After looking through them, you realize that she's been taking photos of herself in various sexual positions with different men. <gasps> no! Uh, with men? She's doing the sex! <laughs> Gross! <laughs> Women doing the sex! Ew! This is definitely something that she enjoys doing. Alright, um... Cell photos. Wait, they call it pictures. Cell pictures. Okay. I gotta be careful not to confuse it, you know? I'm selling the pictures, I'm making that dosh, getting that cash. You decide to sell these pictures online because you're sick of having to keep hiding them from others. You set up an account and create a fake name. When you log in, you start selling the pictures instantly. Alright. Um... Check bank account. How much money am I making here? I'm selling the pictures, but I didn't say for how much. I should have said sell pictures for $1,000 a piece. You check your bank account and see that you've made enough money to buy a car. All right. You notice that the credit card number belongs to a man named David. That's not my account, then? Oh, it's someone I absorbed. Oh, I absorbed him and gained his bank account. He lives in Florida, though, which means he probably doesn't know anything. Oh, about you. I, th I thought that was just making a declarative statement about Floridians. Buy new car. This is cool. I got nudes and I got a new car out of it. Pretty neat. Pretty fucking neat. You spend the rest of the week going out and partying. The first time you went out, you were drunk and passed out in a dumpster. Sounds about right. You woke up covered in shit and had no idea where you were. Absorb shit. I mean, it's organic matter. Or is it? I don't know, does that count? Whatever, who cares. I'm just going to absorb it. When you wake up the second time, you realized that you'd somehow absorbed most of the shit in the dumpster into yourself. You feel disgusting and gross, but you can't stop now. That's depression eating. That's, yep. You head over to David's house and tell him everything that happened every... <laughs> happened yesterday, not every day. Absorb, David. We're back to this, audience. We're back to this, mental patients. We're back to absorbing people. You thought I forgot about it. Nope. After absorbing David, you pass out again. While passing out, you suddenly hear a voice calling to you. It sounds familiar. Hey, baby, come here. Who are you? It's me, it's me. I'm your boyfriend. Absorb boyfriend. Yes, we're getting so much organic matter. We're going to grow to the size of a skyscraper. You wake up and find that you've absorbed all of the other guys at the party. That's what they get for sleeping with that random girl on the internet. They're all naked as well, except for one guy who looks like he has a giant erection. <laughs> you stare at his cock and then look around. Everyone else is staring right back at you. Absorb everyone in the room and become as large as the moon. <laughs> I'm going to become as big as the moon. Yeah, try and stop me. I don't know why I turned into a prospector. You take off your clothes and begin to grow until you reach the size of the moon. You quickly begin to absorb everyone in the room. Soon, you're completely nude and standing there in front of everyone. What do we do now, someone asks. We fuck. Fuck. Yeah. Come on, let's see what happens. Let's see what you got, AI. Are you going to shock me or are you going to let me down? You grab the nearest guy and kiss him passionately. He starts thrusting inside of you. <laughs> Um, that's AI Dungeon, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. <laughs> Say, this is not what I meant when I said I wanted to absorb organic matter. <laughs> In through the mouth, out through the ass. Not, not the other way around. Okay, so... <laughs> You wake up and realize that you've absorbed every single person in this room. You don't understand why, but you're sure it was some sort of mistake. Nope, I like to. The next day, you go to school. Go to school? With a few changes. One thing that stands out is your eyes have changed color. I'm as big as the moon! I'm going to school as big as the moon! And you tell me that my eyes change color. Nobody's going to know that. They won't be able to see, because I'll be the moon. Uh, fart in class class. There we go. Apparently we're a school age slime creature in a tattered coat who's as big as the moon and has 
Big orgies. You fart loudly in class and everyone stares at you. This causes you to change even more. Because now your body is entirely made of gas. Oh my god, I evolved! What? Clump is evolving! Your mind is also completely filled with gas, so you can't think straight anymore either. Oh, wow. Um, asphyxi asphyxiate everyone. I mean, I'm gas, so... What gas does, if I can't absorb people now, I just gotta choke them out. If you can't absorb a bitch, choke a bitch. As you try to breathe through your mouth, you realize that you can't do it. You gasp for air and cough off blood. As you attempt to catch your breath, a bunch of people rush toward you. Okay, so it just thought I just was just saying asphyxiate, period, like myself. You try to run away from them, but they surround and attack you. Kill everyone with my stink. I'm gonna kill you with my stink, I'm a gas man. I'm a gas man. You release a cloud of stinky gas, how embarrassing, that covers the entire school. The smell is horrible and everyone flees in the area screaming. After a while, you notice that you're no longer able to move or speak properly. All you can do is moan in pain and scream for help. Oh, uh, become president of the USA. President? I mean, what do you want, game? You're telling me that I can't move and all I can do is scream and feel pain. So, whatever. You manage to regain control over yourself and you transform into a big fat man. Uh-oh. <laughs> into a big fat man. After saying I want to be president. You decide that you need to get rid of these freaks before they start attacking the world. You send an army after them and wipe out their kind. Tweet about it. Alright. We're Trump now, apparently. What the? How does it, how does everything result in Trump? How does everything on the internet end in Trump? You create a Twitter account and start tweeting about how you wiped out the freaks. People are amazed by your actions and start following you. After a couple of days, you decide that enough is enough. All right. Retire to the Bahamas. Enough is enough. I got rid of the freaks. We got we got rid of the freaks. We got rid of all of them. We built a wall. You decide that enough is enough and retire to the Bahamas. You never return. The end. Okay, so that is the story of Clump, the slime creature in a tattered coat, who ended up being Trump. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Uh, yeah. Listen to me whisper. Watch me eat on camera. Hear me scream at nothing. Be my next subscriber. See me prank a stranger. I will eat a pepper. Comment on my failure. Be my moderator. Don't need to insult me. Don't need to insult me. Insult me. Don't need to insult me. Don't need to insult me. Insult me. Don't need to insult me. DMCA stands for delete my content. Asshole. Asshole.